Bangkok, Oriental City, for some just a one night stop over before they head off into other destinations. For me, this is like a second home and in this video I'm going to show you some great budget friendly places to stay, some great street food, nightlife and anything else I might come across. So if it's your first time in Bangkok or you're just looking for something to do, then this video is definitely for you. Keep watching. Well, coming out of Bangkok Airport where the taxis are, you will see the BART bus, which is now 60 BART to Koh Sand Road. So don't waste your time queuing up for a taxi, just get the BART bus straight to Koh Sand Road. I've decided to stay at the D&D Inn on Koh Sand Road. This budget friendly hotel will set you back about £18 a night. My room at the D&D in Koh Sand Road. Toilet, nice size shower, lovely double bed, great, I'm happy with that. Air conditioning of some specification, can't quite figure out how that one works, but as long as it keeps the room cool, that's all it matters. A little fridge. Although the rooms are a bit basic, they are really well furnished and comfortable. What really sells it for me is a rooftop bar, restaurant and swimming pool with great amazing aerial views overlooking Bangkok. If it's street food you're looking for, look no further. Bangkok is renowned for its street food. It's pad thais, it's green curries, it's red curries, it's pick up owls. Oh, and don't forget the seafood tom yum soup. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, your noodle soups, your ramens, everything's here. There's even vegan and vegetarian restaurant if you want it. And if you are looking for ice cream, I highly recommend Swenson. This place does the best ice cream I've ever come across. As far as nightlife goes, there's a little bit of something for everyone. You've got your street bars all knocking out their loud music, making Ibiza look a little bit tame. And then you've got your back street bars with their live bands and lovely, fantastic atmosphere, loads of people dancing. I've left the link above this video on nightlife in Bangkok. If you're looking for girly bars or anything like that, then check those links out and you will get directions where to go for that if that's what you're looking for. Cannabis is legal in Thailand now and you will find loads of little shops and street stalls openly selling it everywhere, all around you. They just don't make them like they used to. I mean, you'd only find this in Thailand. That is an old mistake. Look at that. Classic. Absolute classic. Left to look like a classic as well. Got scrubbed up and polished up in its original state. Absolutely amazing. Just a little tip if you do come across the street vendors trying to sell you these electric lighters and little electric gadgets, don't waste your time and money buying them because you will be stopped at customs and they will be taken off you. Now, I don't know about you, but when I go traveling, I like to pack as little as possible, mainly because I know that when I get to my destination, I can get pretty much anything I need at probably half the price. And not only that, I also know I'm going to be bringing a load of stuff back with me. One of my favourite places to go shopping in Bangkok is the Bow Bay Tower Indoor and Outdoor Shopping Market Mall. This place is an Aladdin's cave for cheap products and most of the street vendors that you come across will actually be buying their stuff from here. So you can imagine the prices are going to be half the price you're going to pay on the street. Most of the shops here are selling their products at wholesale prices which means you might have to buy two or three items from each vendor. But hey, do you know what? At this price, it's definitely well worth it.
we go. I got some tom yam kum and some lamb tok mu, which is pork, some rice, a bit, a bit of a salad thing going on here. And look at this seafood tom yum, basically. Absolutely gorgeous. Duck in it. Yeah, all kinds of lovely things going on here. Some cannon, some lemon leaves, garlic, ginger, fresh tapia leaves, look at that. Some peppers, some tomatoes. Oh. Now I'm just gonna try some of this soup. So healthy, so good. Spicy. Anywhere you go that's proper Thai, it is gonna be spicy. I could live on this shit. So refreshing. So tasty. With the prawn. Lemongrass in there. Some onion. Spring onion. This is all in the um, Bob A Tower, where you can get loads of clothes, um, accessories, anything you need basically. Dirt cheap. This is the place that actually supplies those street markets that you see um, on the street. So they come here, so that's why you can get it really cheap. But today I'm having this uh, Tom Yum style seafood soup. Absolutely out of this world. Full of flavour, tasty and light. It's not gonna bloat you, fill you up. It's gonna leave you feel real comfortable. Beautiful, absolutely delightful. I've just come to this suit place and I've just bought myself a suit, made to measure suit in this uh, Bobby Tower and it's cost me 3,000 baht which is about 75 quid absolute bargain and what a lovely suit it is too well all good things come to an end it's my last night in bangkok and i've decided to come for yes a curry at the end of kosan road i'm at the uh tika and talk Indian restaurant right at the end of Kosan Road and I've ordered myself my curry, a mutton curry, a chapati and uh, some asmati rice. So excited. Looking forward to this one. I've uh, been eating Thai food and uh, Cambodian food and all kinds of other things. It's time for a curry so yeah my last night in Bangkok I'm treating myself to a nice ruby curry. I just had an absolutely amazing curry in the Indian restaurant Tika and Talk on the end of Kosan Road. Um, yeah, absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend that place. And um, that, my lovelies, brings me pretty much to the end of my video on what to do when you get to Bangkok. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember to give us a like or hit that subscribe button if you can. It really helps my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, on that note, this is Chef Travels. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.